Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here and you enjoy this video, then please feel free to subscribe. I upload every Sunday. And today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I have on my iPad Air. Alright, so I guess we can just go ahead and jump on into this video. So like you may have known from my last video, I just got my iPad probably like three-ish weeks ago now and I have been loving every minute of it so I can't wait to show you guys all of my favorite apps and things that I've been playing around with. So I'll just say again, I do have the iPad Air. This is I believe like the 10 and a half inch and then I have the iPad Pencil and it's in the space gray color. And then I just got this case off of Amazon, so I'll have that link in the description box down below if anyone's interested. But let's just go ahead and show you everything that's on this bad boy. So my background, as you can see, is just a picture of my boyfriend Jaden, which is a film photography photo that I took of him a couple summers back when I did a film photography class in school. And I have a very similar image as my iPhone background that you guys might have seen before as well. So if we just go on in here, it's also my home screen and these are all my apps. I have everything on the first page here, all kind of organized in folders. So I guess we'll just kind of go through everything one by one. Um, but we have, you know, some basics at the top. We have mail, photo, notes. And I have everything synced between my phone and my iPad and everything. So all my notes, I like, just sync back and forth, which is really nice. I think my photos are separate, but my notes I use a lot. And it's all synced between my... Um, computer, phone, iPad, so super, super handy. Then we have obviously Instagram. One thing that I just will never get over is the fact that there's like not an Instagram for the iPad. Like it's literally just the phone zoomed in. Like really Instagram? Like you can't figure that out. Really? Okay. It's fine, I guess. Um, and then we have YouTube, obviously. And then my first folder here is our socials folder. So everything's kind of organized similarly to my phone, but I just have a lot more on my iPad because there's a lot more room. I think, what is this for gigabytes? This is the 256 gig, which my phone is actually like more than that. But I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not as worried about having a bunch of stuff on my iPad because I feel like it just doesn't feel cluttered to me. It's just more fun. Like it feels more like my actual like computer, if that makes any sense. But for my socials folder, I have Twitter, Facebook, podcasts, Lauren Elizabeth, who I love, just launched her podcast today when I'm filming this and I'm loving it. I just finished the first episode and it's so good. So you guys should subscribe to that if uh, you're not already. Then we have Twitch for my boy Jaden. Subscribe to him on Twitch, Buster Boy J. Then we have Pinterest, YouTube Studio, that's where I can kind of manage all of my videos. We have Netflix, TikTok, which is like really just where it's at nowadays, honestly. Like I was really late on that train and, you know, I acknowledge that, but we're here now and we're living our best lives. So, thankful. Uh, Snapchat, which I literally never use, but sometimes my family does and context, FaceTime, Messenger, just like things that you kind of need. Then Hey You, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably heard me talk about my recent obsession with the Housewives franchises. I just recently finished the Beverly Hills franchise and now I'm just at like a loss. You know, I, I don't know what to do with myself. I haven't really committed myself to a new franchise. Like there's a lot of options. There truly is. I think I'm going to have to go with OC. But it's just like so hard to say what to do, you know. I've actually, you know, as you can see here, watched a bit of New Jersey. I watched a couple episodes of Potomac. I'm like testing the waters, but I just haven't found my place yet, you know. We're figuring it out. But And then I caught up with Keep It With The Kardashians. I have one more episode now, so that's good. But yeah. I just don't know. I think I have to watch OC. I think that's just what I have to do, but we'll get there. Then we have my life folder, which is kind of my miscellaneous folder. So you'll see I have some of the Apple apps, iTunes U. I thought I might use that, but I just haven't yet. Uh, Pages, GarageBand, MySasTel, which is like my phone provider. I don't even have like any of these apps on my phone, but I feel like 
sometimes you want to check them so it's nice just to like have them on the iPad and not have to like look at them on my phone all the time. Then Airbnb, you know, just like for dreaming, you know, when the day comes that I can go traveling. We have maps, the Find My, which like pretty, you know, pretty smart of them to combine the Find My iPhone and Find My Friends. Now it's just Find My, you know, they've been thinking. Uh, numbers, I don't know why I have most of these things on here. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up using them. I hope that I will because I have like, you know, some big ideas, but we'll see. Um, Philips Hue, which c connects to all of the light bulbs in my office and bedroom so I can change the brightness of them. I don't even know if I, yeah, I'm not even signed in on my iPad yet, um, but you can change the brightness and the colors and all that kind of stuff with that once I actually finish signing up on here. Then the Kane Academy, I haven't logged into this yet either, but um, I've used this before and it's really cool. I don't know, they just have like a lot of different subjects that you can learn from. They have like kind of curriculums, like almost like it was a class that you're taking online or something. I remember using this a lot in art history because I found there was like a lot more information and they have like little videos and stuff you can follow on here. So yeah, I don't know. I just recommend this if you're like wanting to learn something on the side. If you're interested in art history, there's a lot of good material on here. That's basically the only subject that I've kind of delved in on here, but yeah, I don't know. I'd like to keep checking and see what I can find. Then we have Good Notes here, which is something I've been playing around with. I have two different notebooks on here, one for YouTube and one for design. So just open my YouTube one here. I just kind of started doing this. Whoopsie. But we have, I just started mapping out all the different months. I want to kind of plan out like some video ideas for the next few months. Just kind of like map things out. So we have, you know, all the months going on here. But yeah, I just want to, I... I want to organize my YouTube to-do lists, my YouTube thoughts, my YouTube goals and dreams better. I just have like a really long note on my phone with like different video ideas, different inspiration, different editing ideas, and I want to be able to like organize it differently and have like calendars and lists and pictures and just differently. So I'm working on laying that all out, but I can't spill all the tea for you guys yet because you'll see it when it comes, alright? Then we have a design one, which I don't really want to show you because it's like top secret. But basically, I'm just pulling together all of my thoughts and ideas for fashion design. I don't know. This is, it's vague. It's vague. But I mean, like a, a five-year goal, ten-year goal would be to like someday have like some sort of fashion-esque endeavor. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming, all right? Oh, nothing to see here. Then we have my files, which links with my iCloud, so I have like all my school files, and I have a bunch of like YouTube thumbnails, all that kind of stuff on there. My Amazon Alexa, that again, I can use to play around with the lights or do other things. App Store, PayPal, banking, calculator clock, basic stuff. Uber Eats, Skip the Dish, Spotify, and then the shortcuts, that's a new Apple app I haven't even opened yet, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what's going on, okay? Then the next folder we have on here is the photos folder. So this is very similar again to what I have on my phone. I have Visco, Unfold, which you use for Instagram stories, the camera, Unum, which is like a grid organizer. Oh my goodness, girl. But you can go, these are like all the photos that I have on Instagram. And then this one was like I was thinking about posting. So you can like, you know, rearrange different things. See what looks the best, you know. You know, you know. Uh, Lightroom, Dropbox, which I use to like share a bunch of photos when I take photos for other people. We have Facetune for whitening backgrounds, all that good stuff. PixArt, which I haven't played around with too much, but I've watched a lot of other videos of people playing around with it. And there actually seems to be a lot of capacity on here to do cool things. So I want to play around with it more. Um, Fonto, this is just for text, I believe. I've seen people use this for thumbnails before. And InShot, I haven't even used this before, but again, I just watched uh, Lauren Elizabeth's how she edits her Instagram photos, and she talked about this app, so I just downloaded it to try it out, but 
haven't got a chance to play around with it yet. Then, this is like my most exciting folder that is only on my iPad. I don't really have any of these on my phone anymore, but it is my shopping folder. And I love when a store has a good app, like Zara, Urban Outfitters, H&M. Like, so much nicer just to like have a little shopping cart, have a wish list, you know, just be able to browse. I just love when it fits on your screen nice, there's good navigation. It's just so much better than just browsing on the Safari app, in my humble opinion. The real real, oh my gosh, let me show you guys. This, if you don't know what this is, this is like basically a consignment, secondhand luxury goods. And this is basically, it's just my favorite hobby is to go on here and make um, a favorites list of all my favorite designer goods. So if this will load, I don't know. Some of these like are actually kind of stupid, but guys, it's the best thing ever. And I just like to... But basically, like I was saying, I just love scrolling through here, picking my favorites, making my list, being like, okay, if I win the lottery, what would be my first choice? What would be my second choice? You know what I'm saying? So we got all the goods laid out here, and this bag here, okay, this bag here is the bag that I would end it all for. Like, I would max out my credit card like no other, because this is... The best bag I've ever seen in my entire life, and I owe everything I am to it. It's gold hardware, check. It's velvet, my favorite thing in the entire world. It's pink, it's a perfect shade of pink. It has blue silk interior. Can this get any better? It cannot. So one day, I'm going to hunt down this purse and I'm going to spend every precious penny I own on it, and it's gonna be the best day of my life. So, yeah. And um, there's quite a, lot of, quite a lot of cuties on here, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I mean, if you're ever wanting to buy me a gift, this is where you look, so. I'll link it in the description box, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, good times. Anyways, then we have a uh, Cineplex app. This is like another one of those apps that I just like always delete off my phone and then I'm like, ugh, I gotta check what movies are playing and it's so much simpler in the app, but like I never ever use it and it's like, ugh. So you have it on your iPad and then you're good to go. And then we have the Amazon app. Gosh darn, my favorite thing in the entire world. I literally just <laughs> ordered concealer off of there like two hours ago. Then we have um, H&M, Forever 21, Etsy, Depop, sell some clothes on there. Link that in the description box down below. Kijiji, pretty little thing. I've never ordered from there, but like I definitely need to. But it's kind of like a Forever 21 where you like need to like really sift through everything. Like they literally have like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of every category. So it's like a full-time job, just like filling your cart, you know what I mean? Then we have the Sephora, which I just ordered a replacement of my foundation, which like hit me in the wallet really hard. Then we have another good folder on here, which is the blogs. Now this is a really fun folder. These are all shortcuts to like my favorite blogs. First we have my blog, which is LOL's, um, I abandoned it for YouTube because I didn't realize how time consuming they both were and that I could only pick one at a time while I was in school. So we're going to come back to that. It's like a big goal of mine to have like a blog in the future and do a lot of like home stuff with it and it's going to come around. But right now it's just at a standstill and I apologize for that. But here I am with you today. So let's be grateful for that. Then we have my gosh darn one of my favorite gals, Amber Filler Up, but Barefoot Blonde. So these are just little shortcuts to their blogs, if you can't tell. Oops, yep, you caught me, I ordered some skims. So yeah, if you don't know, you can just click this like top button here, and then you can add, it says add to home screen, and then it makes like a little app, and it's just a shortcut to the web page. So this is a shortcut to Amber Filler Up. She just did a little post about her home office, and Jenny Commendo did her gallery wall, which is everything because Jenny's blog is also on my favorites here, which is Juniper Home. Then if you follow any blog, my favorite blog to follow is Chris Loves Julia. These are 
I don't know, just like some of my favorite people in the whole wide world. You have to follow them on Instagram. They're home bloggers, and basically what they do is renovate their house for a living, which like sounds kind of confusing. But they just had, they just sold their last house like earlier this year, I believe. And they had been renovating it for like the past 10 years. And literally it was a work of art. Like every square inch was perfected and beautiful. And then they just sold it fully furnished, started over in this beautiful big house. But it's like very, very old finishes, old everything. They had to rip down walls, add floors add walls like it's the best i love it and it's gonna be so incredible once they're done and like once even just in a few months they're like doing some really really huge projects in there and i just absolutely love that stuff and very similar to them is who i was talking about before jenny commendo who has the juniper home she has a website called juniper prints as well where she sells uh photo prints and she does a lot of like house flipping, a lot of interior decorating. She's pretty much finished, almost done renovating her kitchen and it's incredible. I think it's been taking them like a couple of years to do and it's literally a work of art. I think they just have like the pantry to finish now, but it's so... It's like everything I want to be when I grow up, you know what I mean? Like that is like my absolute goal is to be... A Jenny Commenda or a Chris Loves Julia. <laughs> then we have uh, Kara Lauren, which is very similar to Amber Filler Up, kind of like a fashion and home blogger. So gorgeous. She, again, is just in the process of they're building a brand new home, and Amber Filler Up just built a brand new home like last year. And just seeing ugh, the, these beautiful homes like come to life is so gorgeous. So gorgeous, like, oh my god, can't even. And then last but certainly not least is Lauren Elizabeth's blog, who we had talked about her just earlier. Her podcast came out today when I'm filming this. And her blog as well, I just absolutely love. Like, cozy essentials for fall, like, literally put every single one of these things on your Christmas wish list. Like, these things, girl knows what she's talking about, okay? She really does, but... You know, 10 to 10. Then we have <laughs> kind of an embarrassing folder. Ooh, I need to rename this. It's not fitting the current aesthetic. Come on, only lower cases in this club, am I right, ladies? But this is like definitely new for me, but I have a games folder. I haven't even had a game on my phone in like years, literally. And I just decided that I was gonna get wacky, get wild on my iPad. So I downloaded a bunch of games. I have like Sudoku, Word Search, Minecraft Solitaire, 8 Ball, you know, like the classics. And then I threw in a couple of randoms, like Cooking Fever. But I loved Cooking with Mama growing up. If anyone knows what that is, that was like my. And Dinner Rush. Like those kind of games, like, really got me. So. Yeah, maybe um, one day when I have that hour-long break at school, I'll just be frying burgers, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Just fun to have. And then, oh, one of the most important apps. On the very bottom here, you'll see, is I have the Messenger app, the Safari, obviously, and then Procreate. So this is where the real good good happens. This is so fun. This is where the Apple Pencil really comes in and we can create all kind of good fun stuff so when I first got it I played around with this and it was drawing don't judge me it's like literally beginner stages okay like um but it's super fun you can do like a lot of different things with it I sketched out like these little things that I can use for videos I made my last couple thumbnails on here I sized this the same size as um, obviously like the YouTube screen and I've just been making different layers for different YouTube things. So you'll see I have different groups here for my vision board thumbnail, for my bleaching thumbnails, uh, my college, days of the week, 
did like lots of different goodies on here, but it's really fun to play around with. Like I said, I've only had this for a few weeks, so I'm still, you know, learning. But, oopsie. But it's super fun to play around with. You can draw whatever you want and then insert it in the video. So you need to start off with, you know, your transparent background. You go, hey girl. And then you can just send that file over and then you put that on your video and you can just lay it over. So it's really fun. I don't know, there's so many different things you can do with it. I've seen a lot of people do kind of like little animations. The options are just honestly endless and I'm so excited about it. And I yacked so much about how much I love, love, love my iPad in my last video. So I'm sure you guys are all aware, but it's just been so much fun and I can't wait to be like, really good at it you know what I'm saying whoa whoa okay anyways so <laughs> that about wraps up everything that I have on my iPad I guess I feel like that went by so quick but yeah so this is the iPad we love her we're living for her the pencil so fun so cool so if there's anything I missed showing you guys please let me know if you have any questions about it please let me know. I do use it at school a lot to take notes and stuff, but in the classes that I'm in, I don't actually really need to be writing a lot of notes, so I just kind of have it and jot down the odd thing here and there, but but I know a lot of people that do use it for like very note intensive classes. I have seen like a lot of other people even in my own classes that take a lot more notes than I normally do, and I see them writing a lot with it. So I don't know, I just think it's a really cool tool to have. It's a lot lighter than my laptop to bring around to school. It's it's opened up a lot of creative options for making videos with thumbnails and little pieces inside the videos. And I'm just really excited to be able to get better at using it and be able to give you guys a little bit more something special, you know, when you're watching my vids. But if you enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys on a Sunday. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Are you still there? To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?